Kia ora, Natiano. Thank you for joining us on the show. Kia ora, great to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you. Yeah, Avalon Studio. I was just thinking about what now, actually. <laughs> yeah, the very same building. Yeah, probably the same room. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tiano, you've described yourself as uh, being tangata whenua as well as pacifica and Māori on both sides. So can you tell us a bit about your family and um, how they've shaped you? Yeah, so I'm tangata whenua and tangata moana, so, you know, land and sea. Um, my mother is from Ngāpui and from Ngai Tokoto, so right up north, and my father was is from the Cook Islands. Um, my, 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 on my Pacifica side, just like a, a lot of Pacifica families, they moved here for educational opportunities and better jobs and all that kind of thing. Uh, my parents, I would say, probably had a classic South Auckland uh, uh, marriage. They met on the doorstep of the pub. My dad was the bouncer. My mum was trying to get him with ID. <laughs> um, and so, you know, the, my story would be the typical story of a working class family in South Auckland. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, awesome. Cool, I'm from Southside as well. Are you? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, so you've had a very interesting life. So you've worked at the United Nations and you've lived overseas. What brought you back home? Yeah, I asked that. I asked myself. I asked my wife that actually, because we went back to Palmerston North and was like, oh, because we lived in Palmerston North for a little bit, and then we went overseas to Europe and lived in Paris for a little bit. Then we went back to Palmerston North. Probably what really brought us back, in particular to the Manawatu, two, was ensuring that our children had a New Zealand education. Yeah. Um, my children are Maori-speaking children. My wife is Maori as well, so they go to Kohangareo, Kurakopapa, and Farikura and those sort of things. So commitment to that way of uh, education was really important yeah. for us as well. And so I'm also passionate about um, Pacifica bilingual education because we also know that when children are grounded in their identity and, you know, of course, language and culture plays an important part of that, then that makes them more rounded people and, of course, sets them up for that uh, in terms of that foundation for everything. Mm. So that must have been quite difficult to maintain when you were overseas, right, the um, te reo Māori? Yeah, yeah, my, I, um, I did French. I studied French for about two years. I lived there for two years. Uh, my kids didn't do any any French lessons at all. In three months, they're talking better French than me, and I was. <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah, I'd be cruising around, and they'd be like interpreting for me in different places. Mm.